Oh, hi, there you are. We can make sure that it gives us internet. So I've had this question in my mind, what happens when Starlink meets Rivian and what happens uh, when they get together? So let's find out. Picking up my drill here and I got a piece of wood down here and believe it or not, I finally got myself a Starlink. A friend of mine had one that he didn't want to use or isn't using or I don't really know, but I figured, hey, I'll give it a try and see what happens. So I actually have it plugged in, in the back of the Rivian there. I think the outlet is still turned on. I don't know, it's kind of finicky. You always have to kind of check to see what's happening here. I did have the Starlink working in the truck. Uh, it took forever. Like this is my first time doing it. So it, it quite literally took forever. I am going to fasten this to this piece of wood. You're gonna follow me right down here, taking some drywall screws. I'm gonna put it in the piece of wood here and uh... actually I wouldn't even call it a piece of wood. It's kind of like MDF or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just found it in the garage somewhere. I'm coming at an angle. I'm doing that at an angle because the last one is a little bit too steep and lifted up the piece of wood. Let me just shoot it at an angle here. Because right, I don't want it coming out on the back of the truck and like scratching the truck. By the way, this is one of my favorites, this little trusty impact drill here. All right, so I got it in. Uh, next step, put it in the back of the truck. I am gonna try to drive down the road, see what that's like. Got a bunch of screws in here. I'll move those out of the way. Man, this comes, this Starlink, dude, I don't know what the distance is, but it comes with way more than you actually need. Move the router out of the way here while I try to lift that up and put it in the back. I'm always doing something random. This is one of my favorite ladders. This is the coolest thing, this like telescoping ladder. Ooh. So I'm hoping, I mean, I know this is an experimental thing, but I'm hoping to put this piece of wood to like stabilize the Starlink in the back of the truck. I really just don't want it falling over. I think it's pretty robust. I watched some teardowns online, but honestly, it doesn't have to fall over. Let's not make it fall over. And I am going to Sun and Fun, I think next weekend, and I will be camping out there. Basically you fly your airplane and you go camp out where the airplanes are. So I figured, hey, it'd be nice to have internet. And finally, I got my Starlink here. Now it's at an angle, it's shooting like basically into the tree or just beyond the tree. You probably can't see that. Let's, there you go. See, it's kind of shooting that distance at the tree. Um, less than desirable, but I figure, hey, let's see if it works. All right, so it's kind of sticking out just a little bit, but hey, no big deal from what I can see. You gotta move this stuff out of the, uh, the driveway here, put it in the garage for safekeeping. I'll try driving down the road and on my phone, show you what a speed test looks like. I'm quite literally hoping that it doesn't, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't like fly out. I don't think it will. Oh, hi, there you are. Yeah, sorry about the grunge look. I figure you don't care, it's just a, a YouTube video. All right, uh, the outlet is turned on. Let me check my phone here. All right, good news. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I am linked. So uh, give that a try. Let's check our speeds. Now I'm gonna do a speed test on Google because I use Google pretty much for everything. So I'm using Google right now. This is just a Google Chrome app and you can see that it's doing pretty good. What are we looking at? 70, well, it closed at 66 and the upload is horrible. It's barely getting one. But honestly, if you're out uh, camping or you're going somewhere, it's not a big deal. Now, the speed test that's used in the Starlink, let's take a look at what that looks like. It's pretty much the same right now. It got up to 99. And the upload's a little bit faster. It's showing around 15. What happens when we drive down the road? Let's, let's try that. So here we go. We're gonna go for a ride and backing up. All right, let's see when we get to the end of the road, what it looks like. Now, I think I can kind of maybe recalibrate the Starlink when I get to a certain point. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that. I've quite literally never done that before. And uh, I'll figure that out in just a moment. But I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do a speed test when we get down the street here and see how that goes. All right, I was just offline. I can see, and then I just pop back online. I want you to see what that looks like. It shows online, and just a second ago, it showed offline. 
All right, let's do a speed test. I'm, you know, a couple hundred feet away. All right, not bad. Uh, keep in mind, it's not the optimal position, but still we're getting around 50 and upload is more or less the same. Now keep in mind, I've moved, I've changed uh, the direction of the truck and the Starlink itself has not changed its position. It's still pointing in the wrong direction more or less because the orientation of my truck has now changed. What happens when I get out on the road and kind of, I don't know, go a little bit of distance? I will try to keep it in an open area. That's gonna be my goal. I'm not trying to get under trees or, you know, get any obstructions in the way because I know that, you know, the optimal is the line of sight. Hopefully it doesn't fly out the back. I just have it kind of screwed down. <laughs> uh, we'll see. All right, so I'm still showing online. I need to drive, but I'm gonna show this to you. I'm hoping and assuming you can see this as we drive. Maybe it goes online, maybe it goes offline. Honestly, I have no idea. Now we are in the same orientation as when I was in the driveway. So yeah, it's still showing online. I will go to a parking lot up here, pull on the parking lot and see, you know, if we're still online or if we're offline. Let me, while I'm driving, do a speed test though. So I'm gonna go ahead and run another speed test, 38, 30, 29. So it's not as fast as, you know, when it was in its optimum position at the house, but at the same time, I still have internet. So uh, let me pull over and let me go take a look at what happened and where I'm at. I'm in a parking lot here. Park seatbelt, park. I need to check and see what's happening. Um, it shows me online. So let's kind of see, I'm in park, I'll jump out here, bring you with me, give me one minute. Take a look at this, check this out. So as we were driving, well, number one, I'm surprised I didn't lose the tarp in the back, but I wasn't going too fast. It actually repositioned itself so that it's shooting more, I don't know, vertical into the sky versus at a special like angle at you know one satellite, it must have some sort of uh, special configuration which works best. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. Cool thing is the Starlink is still in the back of the truck. Me, oh, you like it? I appreciate it. I'm actually doing a video right now for YouTube. I have a Starlink in the back of my truck. Dude, I watch you, man. Do you? Yeah. So I'm, I'm testing it out. Oh man, my router fell down. Oh, man, I'm sorry, I interrupted. No, no big deal. So I'm just having fun right now. It's fun. Eric, yeah. I, I follow you on YouTube, man. You do? Well, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Brian. Brian, yeah, man, I appreciate you following. I'm just uh, having fun. I got a few minutes off of work. I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do? I just got this. Let's see what I can do. So, yeah, just having this fun. Is what, your third Rivian? This, well, this is my first Rivian. I've had it for a year now. But you. But I make all kinds of videos. Some other ones. Yes, I had, uh, yeah, a couple of different ones. You got it. Yep. Well, enjoy it. Appreciate it. Starling. Yeah, appreciate it. I mean, that just—it's so cool. And I, I got a screw to this piece of wood, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> Cheers, have a nice one. Yeah, Likewise. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So as I was here making this video, a dude stopped by and said, hey, I like your truck. And I was just showing him the video or showing him the Starlink in the back of the truck. So we're gonna go. Um, you see that the Starlink itself started at my house at this orientation, then it went in this orientation. And then as I was out there talking to that gentleman, it changed at this location and then as I got back in the truck it changed back so uh, it automatically kind of updates itself to uh, its optimum uh, location for you know getting getting us internet and as we speak right now it shows that it's oh, well, it just said offline now it's back online but uh, there you go you see that there online so still have internet and uh, now we're down the street question is how far can we go now, I'm not going to go on a long road trip here because, well, I got other stuff to do, but uh, just kind of having fun playing around with this Starlink and bringing you along with the trip here. We still have it online and uh, whoop, click the button. We're still online there. Now, we're not too far away from the house, but the point is I'm driving around town now and, uh, well, I have internet. This is uh, pretty cool. All right, I'm going to uh, do one more stop down here and see if uh, we can make sure that it gives us internet. And I see that it's orienting itself in the back, back of the truck here at different angles. Even though the uh, the, the Starlink itself, uh, I watched some teardowns uh, online. Some people do some awesome, awesome teardown videos. 
uh, I'm fascinated by it because I manufacture stuff very similar. You know, it's uh, circuit boards and mechanical plastic metal parts and kind of all put together. We could probably go through a car wash, but being that this is my first day and I want to take the Starlink next week with me to uh, the Sun and Fun uh, show, I probably don't want to kill it quite yet, but uh, maybe, maybe one day. I'm going to go ahead and pull off in this large parking lot. We are still connected. Whoop might lose the camera but I am still connected and uh, let's see how we fare of course this is what I would call like the perfect place to set up a Starlink I'm in a huge parking lot here and uh, more or less there's no obstructions all right let's do this let's run a speed test that basically shows that we're connected now keep in mind, I haven't done anything to readjust the Starlink itself, so it's automatically updating itself. Uh, right now I'm showing that we're at like 40, um, uh, with a 52 millisecond latency, that's actually kind of high, especially for internet. You don't want your latency to be so high. Um, I bet if we sat here long enough that we would get a more optimal position on the uh, Starlink itself once it finds and locks onto a satellite. All right, one more test. One more speed test, see if we get any faster. I will probably sit here for a few more minutes. Here we go, getting a little faster. So it must have repositioned itself. So that's how it does. It, it, it automatically, probably an interval of every few minutes, it readjusts itself, 46 milliseconds latency. That's what we have. So uh, if you like this video, I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Like it, share it with a friend, and at any rate, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for joining me on the ride today. Cheers.